the RPG Maker is one of the best makers you can find in the internet. It's free to download and it's so easy to use. There's a lot of versions, the XP, the VX, but believe it or not, I love the RPG Maker 2003. It's it's one of the oldest, but in my personal opinion, it's one of the best. I don't know why I love that version so much, but anyway, I know how tough it is to make some cool stuff. You know, you can do the basic stuff very easy, but sometimes you want to make something different, something to make your game special, like a limit break bar or some stuff like that. And sometimes it's not that easy, you know. But I here to teach you something. Yes, my friends. I'm gonna tell you how to make a limit break bar. Yes. I'm gonna teach you how to make a limit bar for your character in your RPG Maker 2003. Of course, you can use the same technique to making the other makers, no problem. But, like I said before, I just love this version. I know the graphics kinda suck compared to the newer ones, but, well, let's get the show on the row, shall we? Now, the first thing you're gonna need is the graphics. Well, to, I'm gonna teach you a, a simple way to make a limit bar. So as you can see, I have my hero face set right here. And for your limit break bar, you're gonna need something like this. It's not that hard to do. And you're gonna make a limit bar with 15 pixels. And don't forget one for the empty bar. That's all you're gonna need. So, let's move on. All right, now let's go our, uh, in our RPG Maker database. And as you can see, I have all the information done here. Here's my face set for my main character, the walk animation, and the battle animation. So let's go here, common events. And let's make one common event called just limit. 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 God damn it. Okay. Now the condition, you can let call. No problem. Now let's go insert and put one i fraud condition and you're gonna need to make a variable let's go variable and let's give a name let's call limit as well limit okay done okay now let's set and zero and here you let equal oh and don't forget the else option let okay let on sorry okay now what you gonna do next let's insert Let's go to the number one. There you go. Now let's go to the change main hero face set. Now what that means? That means one the variable limit break reach zero. Let's see the limit break gonna be empty. So let's find the graphics. Oh, where is it? Where is it? God over there! Oh, here we go. Here. So that means one the variable limit break reach zero the empty the, the gonna be an empty bar so what gonna need to do it's simple you are gonna have to go right here remember those other graphics well we have to do the exact same thing to the, all the other ones yeah I know it's boring and tedious but uh, that's what I need to do so let's go right here and do it again but you must remember something really important when you're gonna make the next one, don't forget to change variable set 1. And the second one set 2, set 3, and just keep going. Because the game wanna know when the variable set 1, that means it's gonna be 1 pixel in your limit break bar. And just keep doing the same thing over and over until you make all the other ones. Set 2. Don't forget the else condition, that's really important. Let's go, chain hero. Yes, right here. There you go. Just keep doing this. Ugh. Last one. Alright. Okay. Done. Okay. Once we have all done, we're gonna probably have something like this. As you can see the numbers, 9, 8, 7, 6. All perfect number. There we go. When you finish, oh, we're gonna have something like this. Click apply, 
and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this thing work. Once we have all this done and checked up, see, all here. Now let's make this thing work. Let's go in Monster Party, whatever. And now, do you see this small window right here? The trigger option, let's go right here and choose the activate command. The hero, the hero to have the limit break and when they use the attack action. Now what's gonna happen when if she attacks? Let's go right here. Change variable. Remember the variable limit set plus one. Just remember that. Next, let's go right here. Call event. The common event limit. Remember? Limit will make it and just apply it. Alright, all this set up and you're ready to go. So let's go right here, new page, the trigger, let's go change the trigger right here, let's switch variable, there we go, and variable limit, 1, there we go, and set 15. Okay, now what's gonna happen when the variable limit reach 15? Let's call uh, ifrog condition, remove the else, else case, really important, now, variable limit, set 15, equal. Give OK. Now what's gonna happen when the limit reach 15? Which means the limit break is full. Right here you can put any sound effects, anything to indicate the bar is full. It's up to you. Once you do that, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna make our character learn some skill. Their hero Katie gonna learn one skill. Let's see, yeah, the ultimate skill. And click OK. Alright, what's next? Let's go right here, insert, change variable, the variable limit, set plus one. Okay, now we're gonna need a switch. So let's go right here, insert, change switch right here. Let's call it limit off, turn it on, and there we go. When you're done this, you're gonna probably have something almost like this. go don't forget to click apply okay what's next once all this done let's go new page the trigger option right here let's choose switch number one limit off and activate common then the character use the magic skill now that means that thing only gonna turn it on when she used she spell now what's gonna happen? Let's make our character forget that spell that she just learned. Right here. Very simple. Next, let's change the variable. The variable limit set zero. Which means the bar is gonna drop to zero. Next, let's go right here. Change switch. Limit break off. Turn it off. And apply. When it's done, you gotta have something almost...